DuPont Innovation lowers LCOE by increasing cell efficiencies and system lifetime while reducing total system cost. Materials matter. Hello and welcome to this week's PV Tech Newscast. Coming up. Silicon US subsidiaries file for bankruptcy. Solar Frontier pushes CIS thin film efficiency to 19.7%. And Yingli Green becomes the largest solar company, exceeding 2012 module shipment guidance of 2.2 gigawatt. Yingli Green has surpassed SunTech Power Holdings as the largest PV company in the world, based on revised full-year module shipment guidance. In advance of its fourth quarter 2012 financial results, Yingli Green said that better-than-expected module shipments in the quarter had resulted in full-year shipments exceeding its 2.2 gigawatt guidance. Strong demand in the fourth quarter meant module shipments reached a new historic high, although the company does not provide quarterly shipment figures. Market research firm Bernreuter Research is forecasting PV installations could reach 36 gigawatt this year, driving renewed polysilicon demand that is expected to push spot prices to around 20 to 25 US dollars per kilo by the end of 2013. The latest forecast could provide significant relief for the struggling polysilicon sector. High purity polysilicon spot market prices plummeted 59% in 2011, followed by a 47% decline in 2012, reaching a record low price of 15 US dollars per kilogram, well below production costs for the vast majority of the sector. Preliminary estimates from Bernreuter suggest that the global polysilicon product on volumes actually fell to approximately 235,000 metric tonnes in 2012, a drop of almost 8% from the output of 255,000 metric tonnes in 2011. But production is expected to rebound this year by around 6.5%. ASP declines in 2012 forced over 300 companies in China to stop operations entirely. According to China-based market research firm ENF, the downturn was driven by industry overcapacity throughout the PV supply chain, including equipment suppliers, polysilicon producers and module manufacturers. ENF said that a significant influx of new entrants in 2011 led to the number of Chinese manufacturing companies directly involved in the PV industry increasing from 807 to a whopping 901. During 2012, the number of core solar chain manufacturers dropped from that whopping 901 to 704, with a particular drop among panel manufacturers from 624 to 454. In addition, a further 180 core chain manufacturers went to sleep, meaning that there are now only 524 manufacturers currently operating, a 42% decline since 2011. Turning to the US now, where vertically integrated Spanish PV company Silicon have filed for financial relief for two of its US-based subsidiaries under Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Code. Lack of capital resources and a poor lending environment, along with the continued downward pricing pressures for solar products, were cited as reasons for the bankruptcy. Meanwhile, major US-based installer SolarCity said its PV installations reached 156 megawatts in 2012, an increase of 117% compared to 2011, exceeding guidance by 10 megawatts. Providing its first update on business expectations since its successful IPO last December, SolarCity said installations are expected to increase a further 60% in 2013, reaching 250 megawatts. Chinese thin film manufacturer Hanergy has confirmed its acquisition of US-based SIG's thin film manufacturer Miasole. Hanergy has a number of plans in the pipeline to boost Miasole's operations. These include the ramping up of the Californian-based factory to full capacity. The Sunnyvale plant currently has more than 100 employees in engineering, technology and manufacturing, which Hanergy says will be retained. The company also expects to hire additional employees at this plant and make sustained investment in Miasole's research and development division. Japan's Solar Frontier has broken the record for CIS thin film solar cell conversion efficiency using a sputtering and selenization process. 
The current CIS efficiency record of 20.3% was set with the co-evaporation processes. The record conversion efficiency figure of 18.6% verified by Japan's Advanced Industrial Science and Technology Organization had stood for 10 years. However, in a joint collaboration with Japan's NEDO research outfit, Solar Frontier has pushed the record to 19.7% using solar cells measuring approximately half a squared centimeter. And finally, staying with thin film technology, First Solar and Intermolecular are planning to extend a previous research and development collaboration established last year and develop what they describe as disruptive new approaches to boosting the solar cell conversion efficiencies of First Solar's CADTEL solar cell technology. According to First Solar, the new two-year partnership program is expected to target module conversion efficiency gains well beyond its previously announced roadmap. But the key will be the attempt to shorten the time to market of technology, a key limitation in regards to the time record efficiency milestones reported in the lab compared to the many years such advancements take to reach the manufacturing floor in high volume. Well, that's all for this week. All these stories in detail on pvtech.org. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.